The scope of this screencast is to offer you a brief overview of my third year project. The aim of the project was to develop a learning tool capable of illustrating graph coloring. More precisely, the application allows both technical and non-technical students to visualize and understand different sequential graph coloring algorithms. But first of all, I believe it is necessary to briefly introduce the concept of graph coloring. A graph can be defined using a list of vertices and a list of edges that connect those vertices. Furthermore, a proper graph coloring can be defined as an assignment of colors to the graph's vertices so that two connected nodes do not share the same color. Although the task of graph coloring is trivial, producing a coloring using a minimum number of colors is an NP-complete problem. Now that the concept of graph coloring was introduced, I would like to move on and discuss about the actual graph coloring illustration tool. The application's workflow comprises of three major steps. Firstly, the user must input a graph. Secondly, an algorithm and run mode need to be selected. And lastly, the color graph is displayed. In order to highlight the implemented features, a walkthrough of the application will be illustrated. The development of the user interface represented the project's main challenge. Still, a simplistic and intuitive user interface was implemented in order to allow the user to focus on the learning experience. As previously mentioned, the first step requires the user to input a graph using one of the three available options. One way to create a graph is to randomly generate one. Once the user fills in the required fields, the controller is notified and the input is validated by the backend. If the parameters contain illegal characters, an error label will be displayed. On the other hand, if there are no errors, the random graph generator component generates a graph which is then displayed by the user interface. Moreover, the input panel allows the user to manually add or remove elements of the graph. Also, the user can manually draw a graph from scratch using the provided on-screen buttons or to upload the graph using an input file. The component in charge with illustrating the graph was named in this project as Graph Canvas. This dynamic panel allows the user to directly interact with the graph and explore the graph's elements. However, this visually appealing feature of the frontend caused a high memory usage. The considered solution was the implementation of the flyway design pattern that suggests the reuse of the UI component throughout the application. More precisely, once the user navigates to the next panel, the same graph canvas is used. In this panel, the user is able to choose one of the three available run modes, single graph coloring, algorithm tutorial, or compare algorithms. Once the user chooses one of the implemented algorithms, the single graph coloring option directly colors the graph and provides details about the algorithm's results such as the chromatic number, the execution time, the coloring sequence, or the completed steps. However, if the user wants to better understand the algorithm, the application also offers a tutorial mode. Compared with the previous simulation, the illustration tool does not directly color the graph. It provides the user the ability to control the progress throughout the algorithm. Once the coloring sequence is generated, the user is able to navigate forward and backwards through the coloring process. Moreover, the application allows the user to take a snapshot of the algorithm's current state which is saved on the computer's desktop. The application can also compare different graph coloring algorithms. Once the user decides which algorithms to compare, the application applies both of them on the input graph and a side-by-side -side visualization of the color graphs is offered using two graph canvases. Moreover, the chromatic number, execution time, and coloring sequence for each of the algorithms are displayed on the right side of the application. The application also allows the user to generate reports containing millions of large graphs and by analyzing the results, the user can better understand the influence of the different graph coloring heuristics upon the results of the algorithms. Firstly, the user needs to input the parameters of the simulation. The application then generates random hard-to-color graphs and runs the algorithms on the generated dataset. Lastly, a dynamic report is generated and saved on the computer's desktop. 
The report contains statistics of the simulation, including details about the chromatic number and the execution time for each of the executed algorithms. These are the main features of the developed graph coloring illustration tool. In order to implement them, numerous technologies were considered. The main challenge of the implementation stage was to coordinate the external libraries and integrate them into the application system design. For example, the implementation of the input panel required the use of several UI-related libraries and libraries capable to store and manipulate graph objects. Furthermore, an exhaustive testing process was completed in order to ensure the delivery of the functional and non-functional requirements gathered throughout the project. The testing phase included an intensive backend testing using unit, integration, and functional testing. Lastly, the front-end testing comprised of two phases. Manual UI testing using test scenarios and automated UI testing using the FAST framework. As a result, the achieved 80% code coverage and the completed 278 UI test scenarios ensured the delivery of an industry-level software product. Thank you for your time.